interestingly, a lot of Japanese, when they marry, it's neither Buddhist nor Shinto, but it's Christian chapel where they marry. So, as you said, they say, I'm not religious, but actually, they practice a lot of religious stuff. And I sometimes uh, use the metaphor of a, a table where a Japanese meal is served and there's lots of small plates. And uh, some of the dishes are sweet, some are salty, some are more sour. You eat all of these. But I sometimes have the feeling that there's no main dish. So, so if you ask a Japanese what's really supporting your life or, or what do you really believe in, uh, it's kind of fuzzy or maybe there's really nothing. Although all of these side dishes are consumed. Um, while in the West, it's usually the opposite. There's says you have one religion or you have no religion, but even then you kind of have an ideology. Exactly. So, so I'm an atheist. You should also become an atheist because who would be so stupid to believe in a God or who would be so stupid to believe in rebirth? While the Japanese, they're completely well open in that. They don't really believe in a special God, but they would also never deny the existence of God. If you ask a Buddhist priest, is there really something like rebirth? Probably most of them would say, well, I don't know. Let's wait until we die. We will see. At least that's the answer that I usually give. And it's a typical Japanese answer. I don't really know. In the scriptures, it says, yes, but who knows? Let's wait and see and find out. Exactly. 